Seat seat T S I T S I T Hebrew Zizit modern C C Tiberian S is it plural C C A T are specially knotted ritual fringes or tassels worn in antiquity by Israelites and today by observant Jews and Samaritans. Seat seat are attached to the four corners of the tallit prayer shawl and tallit katan everyday undergarment. Other pronunciations include biblical and Middle Eastern I E Mizrachi Sisit place. Sisiat, Spanish and Mediterranean I, e, Sephardic, Tzitzit, European and Yiddish I, e, Ashkenazi, Tzitzis, Yemenite I, e, Tamani, Sisith, Samaritan, Sesit. Etymology The word may derive from the Semitic root ntzh, Nz the ending it is the feminine adjectival suffix, used here to form a feminine singular noun. Ntzh comes from the root word for flower, and originally meant a tassel, or lock, as in the book of Ezekiel where Ezekiel is picked up by an angel and carried by a lock Hebrew tzitzit of hair. In English language academic texts on Judaica the term is sometimes rendered show fringes. In the Hebrew Bible the use is singular, but the feminine plural tzitziot is found in later texts. The Septuagint translation is, tassels, Greek plural krispeta krispeta, from krispetan krispetan singular. A popular etymological interpretation of heb, tzitzit is that which derives the word from Akkadian clothing vocabulary, either sisiktu a thread, edge, loom, or sisatu a floral ornamentation. This hypothesis is supported by the fact that the custom of making fringes from extending the threads of embroidery was common in the ancient Near East as the means of strengthening the fabric. The further analyses of the antique iconography suggest that apart from this pragmatic purpose, the tassels could also decorate the cloth and as such be a marker of the social status. The more elaborate and elegant the fringes, the higher the position of the owner. In addition to this and given the unique nature of each of the tassels it could also be used as a personal signet for sealing documents. This data has led the scholars to assume that the practice itself is of very ancient origins and was only secondarily incorporated into the Hebrew Bible where it was invested with new religious meaning. <laughs> Torah sources The Torah mentions tzitzit in two places. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them throughout their generations fringes in the corners of their garments, and that they put with the fringe of each corner a thread of blue. And it shall be a fringe for you, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring, that ye may remember, and do all my commandments, and be holy unto your God. Numbers chapter 15 verses 38-40. Thou shalt make thee twisted cords upon the four corners of thy covering, wherewith thou coverest thyself. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 12 However, there is an important difference between the two. While Numbers chapter 15 verses 37 to 41 uses the heb. Seat seat, the passage in Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 12 employs the plural form of gadil, which is an Akkadian loanword for a cord or string. The reason for this lexical change is open to speculations, yet, the scholars are inclined to assume that in the times when the Book of Deuteronomy was composed, the meaning of the tzitzit of Num, 1537 had been lost and the Gedalim is a dynamic translation of an unusual term, what is more, the biblical sources are rather ambiguous. Since the heb, word kanaf can mean a corner or a border, the specific place of the attachment of the fringes remains unsure. Their exact number is also not specified. Obviously, there is no mention of tallit, which is a later rabbinic invention developed probably with convenience in mind. Lastly, the passage lacks any instructions on the binding of the fringes, save for the obligation to include a cord of blue heb ptil chalet. Somewhat contrary to the technical laconicism of the sources, the primary mnemonic purpose of the mitzvah is expressed clearly, it is supposed to remind about the proper performance of all the other commandments and thus to prevent from engaging in idolatry. In sum, the biblical sources are very scarce what leads to conclusion that the mitzvah tzitzit was to a great extent Torah Shebal Peh, passed down from Moshe Rabinu, from what he was taught by G.D., up on the mountain. <inaudible> <inaudible> Rabbinic Judaism 
The Talmud equates observance of tzitzit with that of all the mitzvah. Maimonides includes it as a major commandment along with circumcision and the Passover offering. The tallit and tallit katan are four cornered garments worn by rabbinic Jews which incorporate tzitzit. The tallit katan garment itself is commonly referred to as tzitzit. The blue thread mentioned in the Torah, teklit, is omitted by most rabbinic Jews due to controversy over the dye making process. The Torah forbids shatnas, intertying, wool and linen together. However, unlike other forms of kilayim combinations of various phenomena like planting different types of seed or plowing with different animals, there is an exception to the rule. Shatnas was not only allowed but also required in the priestly garments, which combined dyed wool and linen threads. According to the rabbis, this exemption to shatnas applied only while performing priestly service. Rabbinic Judaism, but not Karaite Judaism or Samaritanism, makes a further exemption to this law for tzitzit, based on the Torah's juxtaposition of the laws for shatnas and tzitzit in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verses 11 to 12. Thus, according to Rabbinic Judaism, both laymen and priests were supposed to wear mixtures of wool and linen all the time. From this perspective, the shatnas of the layman reflects that of the priest. In practice, the rabbinic sages permitted using wool and linen strings in tandem only when what they hold to be genuine teklit is available. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Threads and knots. The tassel seat seat on each corner is made of four strands, which must be made with intent. These strands are then threaded and hang down, appearing to be eight. It is customary that each of the four strands is made of eight fine threads, known as kafal shemine. The four strands are passed through a hole, or according to some, two holes, one to two inches, 25 to 50 millimeters, away from the corner of the cloth. There are numerous customs as to how to tie the tassels. The Talmud explains that the Bible requires an upper knot, kesher elion, and one wrapping of three winds, huliyah. The Talmud enjoined that between seven and thirteen huliyot be tied, and that. One must start and end with the color of the garment. As for the making of knots in between the huliyot, the Talmud is inconclusive, and as such later poskim have interpreted this requirement in various ways. The Talmud described tying assuming the use of teklit dye. Following the loss of the source of the dye, various customs of tying were introduced to compensate for the lack of this primary element. The tying method which gained the widest acceptance can be described as follows, the four strands of the seat seat are passed through a hole near the garment's corner. The two groups of four ends are double knotted to each other at the edge of the garment near the hole. One of the four strands known as the shamash is made longer than the others. The long end of the shamash is wound around the other seven ends and double knotted. This is done repeatedly so as to make a total of five double knots separated by four sections of winding, with a total length of at least four inches, leaving free hanging ends that are twice that long. This tying procedure is used for each of the garment's four corners. If it has more than four corners, the four that are farthest apart are used. In Ashkenazi custom, the four sections of winding number seven, eight, one, 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 three winds, respectively. The total number of winds comes to 39, which is the same number of winds if one were to tie according to the Talmud's instruction of 13 huliyot of three winds each. Furthermore, the number 39 is found to be significant in that it is the gematria numerical equivalent of the words, The Lord is one. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Others, especially Sephardi Jews, use 10565 as the number of windings, a combination that represents directly the spelling of the tetragrammaton whose numerical value is 26. Before tying begins, declaration of intent is recited, Lashim mitzvit tzitzit, for the sake of the commandment of tzitzit. <laughs> Interpretations Rashi, a prominent Jewish commentator, bases the number of knots on a gematria, the word tzitzit in its Mishnaic spelling, zizit has the value 600. Each tassel has eight threads when doubled over and five sets of knots, totaling 13. The sum of all numbers is 613, traditionally the number of commandments in the Torah. This reflects the concept that donning a garment with tzitziot reminds its wearer of all Torah commandments, as specified in Numbers chapter 15 verse 39. Rashi knots are worn by the majority of Ashkenazic Eastern European Jews. Nachmanides disagrees with Rashi, pointing out that the biblical spelling of the word tzitzit zizit has the gematria of 590 rather than 600, which appends Rashi's proposed gematria. 
He points out that in the biblical quote, you shall see it and remember them, the singular form, it, can refer only to the thread of teklet. The teklet strand serves this purpose, explains the Talmud, for the blue color of teklet resembles the ocean, which in turn resembles the sky, which in turn is said to resemble God's holy throne, thus reminding all of the divine mission to fulfill his commandments. Nachmanides' knots are worn by the majority of Sephardic Jews and Timani Jews. Modern biblical scholar Jacob Milgram notes that in ancient Middle Eastern societies, the corner of the garment was often elaboratedly decorated to ma k e an important social statement functioning as an symbolic extension of the owner himself. He also notes that the Torah requires teklet, normally a royal and priestly color, to be used by all Jews. The tzitzit are the epitome of the democratic thrust within Judaism, which equalizes not by leveling but by elevating. All of Israel is enjoined to become a nation of priests. Tzitzit is not restricted to Israel's leaders, be they kings, rabbis or scholars. It is the uniform of all Israel. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Color of the strings. Topic: <inaudible> Teklet. <inaudible> Teklet teak is a color dye which the Hebrew Bible commands the Jews to use for one two, or four of the eight half strings hanging down as interpreted in Rabbinic Judaism, or a number of cords ranging from one up to the same amount of threads as the non-teklet threads according to opinions in Karaiti Judaism. At some point following the destruction of the Second Temple, the knowledge and tradition about the correct method of the dye was lost for Rabbinic Judaism in Israel and since then, most Rabbinic Diaspora Jews and Israeli Jews as well have worn plain white tzitziot without any dyes. Teklet, which appears 48 times in the Tanakh, translated by the Septuagint as Iakinthinos Greek, Hyakinthinos blue, is a specific blue-violet dye produced, according to the rabbis, from a creature referred to as a hilazon, other blue dyes being unacceptable. Some explain the black stripes found on many traditional prayer shawls as representing the loss of this dye. While there is no prohibition on wearing blue dye from another source, the rabbis maintain that other kinds of teklet do not fulfill the mitzvah of teklet, and thus all the strings have been traditionally kept undyed I, e, white, for many centuries. In recent times, with the debated rediscovery of the hilazon in the murex trunculus mollusk, some have noted that one cannot fulfill the mitzvah of tzitzit without the teklet strand. This position, however, has been strongly disputed. When teklet is used, there are varying opinions in rabbinic literature as to how many of the strands are to be dyed, one of eight rambam, two of eight ravid, four of eight tosafot. While the white threads are to be made of the material of the garment, rabbinic law instructs that the teklet dyed thread must be made of wool. According to several rabbinic sages, blue is the color of God's glory. Staring at this color aids in meditation, bringing us a glimpse of the pavement of sapphire, like the very sky for purity, which is a likeness of the throne of God. Many items in the Mishkan, the portable sanctuary in the wilderness, such as the menorah, many of the vessels, and the Ark of the Covenant, were covered with a blue-violet cloth when transported from place to place. The other threads The other threads in the seat seat, all the threads where teklet is not used, are described as white. This may be interpreted either literally by Rama or as meaning the same color as the main garment, Rambam. Normally, the garment itself is white so that the divergence does not arise. Similarly, the threads may be made either of wool or of the same fabric as the garment. Again, many authorities recommend using a woolen garment so that all views are satisfied. Karaiti tzitzit Karaiti Jews maintain that the tzitziot must be braided and have the appearance of chains, rather than being knotted as are the tzitziot of Rabbinic Judaism. Karet tzitziot have blue-violet threads in them. In contrast to Rabbinic Jews, Karet believe that the teklet source can be any dye, except those produced from impure a definition mostly overlapping unkosher species, such as the mollusks used by rabbinic Jews. Instead, Karet proposed that the source of the dye was indigo or woad a satis tinctoria. Karet also consider synthetic blue or blue-violet to be acceptable for teklet. Contrary to some claims, Karet do not hang tzitziot on their walls. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Samaritan tzitzit. In the Samaritan tradition, the tallit is a gown worn over their clothes during most holy days, and the tzitzit are considered the 22 buttons on the right lapel of the gown, and the corresponding loops on its left lapel. The tzitziyot are always in the same color as the gown, which is usually white. Another version of Samaritan tzitzit is the simple fringes on the sides of the very large white tallit worn by the priests when carrying a Torah scroll. Similarly to most Orthodox Rabbinic Jews, the Samaritans hold that the blue-violet teklet thread for their tzitziyot was produced from a specific dye, and claim that the tradition for producing it was lost. Contrary to some rumors, the Samaritans do not use either Rabbinic or Karaiti tzitziyot. In archaeology and secular scholarship According to the modern documentary hypothesis, the reference to tzitzit in numbers comes from the priestly code, while that from Deuteronomy comes from the Deuteronomic code. They are believed to date to around the late 8th century BCE and late 7th century BCE, respectively, some time after the practice became part of regular ritual. The custom however, clearly predates these codes, and was not limited to Israel. Images of the custom have been found on several ancient Near East inscriptions in contexts suggesting that it was practiced across the Near East. Some scholars believe that the practice among ancients originated due to the wearing of animal skins, which have legs at each corner, and that later fabrics symbolized the presence of such legs, first by the use of amulets, and later by tzitzit. See also Christianity and fringed garments <laughs>